Recently, the 2022 Grammy nominations were released, and for the Rap Album of the Year category, we saw Jack Harlow in that list, along with artists like Future, Kendrick Lamar, Pusha T, and DJ Khaled. When I tell you that this is probably one of the most undeserving, most slap in the face to anyone that enjoys music when i see jack harlow on the rap album of the year nominations it is just insulting seeing jack harlow on this list is like that meme where it's a bunch of soldiers and there's like that one clown in there that's just like sticking out like a sore thumb i'll pull it up you guys know what i'm talking about i know dj khaled is also on this list but he nowhere near upsets me as much as seeing jack harlow on here when you want to talk about an album that had pretty high expectations and completely under delivered and not only that made the most bland boring album i have ever heard probably in my life i'm not even joking the album is like a unsalted saltine cracker it is garbage i'm gonna have to pick that up having a star-studded feature list i'm talking drake lil wayne jt this guy has everything he has everyone on this project yet he still under delivers in almost every single feature besides Drake, it was so forgettable. I know people talk about how quick everyone turned on to baby, and people keep on talking about that like, oh my gosh, one week everybody loved him, the next week everybody hated him. But no one talks about how Jack Harlow did that exact same thing just by dropping music. If you guys remember, the baby had just he was running a speed run of getting the most controversies ever which made him a lot less harder to support jack harlow had no controversies he just dropped a really bad album i remember the exact moment everybody's opinion shifted on him it was right after industry baby when he had a pretty solid feature on that song and then he previewed first class which was the really big snippet if you guys remember on twitter that song was going insane and we only really heard the best part of the song which is just the hook and the sample and then just about a week later he drops the song it goes number one it goes absolutely insane and people say hey for a sample this good this song needs to be way better the song was painfully mid every single thing in it is mid the song got carried by the sample jack was pretty much asleep at the wheel the entire time and this song releasing was kind of like the calm before the storm before we got come home the kids miss you and i tell you when i listened to this album i had such high hopes i was hoping you know what jack he's going to beat the generic rapper allegations he's going to be you know creative this is going to be you know the start of an amazing career you know he's going to be one of the next superstars uh for years to come you know that's what they all say was okay you know it had some bangers on there and i know he can do way more he's definitely has so much more potential and then he releases this album and it was almost depressing to see how bad it was it was so funny seeing everybody compare jack harlow to drake and i can see that but on churchill downs when you want to talk about the skill disparity between the two it it is night and day how much better drake is better at rapping than jack harlow the only song on this album i listen to every once in a while is churchill downs and i skip two minutes past the song to get past that jack harlow part and i just listen to drake the problem with jack harlow is his music has no shelf life at all whatsoever all right uh spongebob can i get one with less He's almost like the modern day Macklemore because at the time everybody was bumping thrift shop and you know all those songs But even just a few years after that song came out no one was talking about thrift shop I could probably say the same thing about Jack Harlow I mean it's already happened for the song first class the song was super popular when it came out But now I don't see anyone bumping first class because the song has no shelf life That is the majority of Jack Harlow's music he has no shelf life whatsoever. I know people are probably going to ask me why I care about the Grammys in the first place, and that's because it gives recognition to a lot of artists that really deserve it. Not only that, but it will allow other people from other genres to see an award-winning album, and people want to go check it out. And with that, people can become fans of a new genre. In all reality, I probably want Pusha T to win the album of the year or Kendrick Lamar. I think those two are probably the favorites for it. I think Kendrick's probably going to win. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the Grammy nominations, Jack Harlow and his album in the comments below. Am I tripping? Am I, am I wrong to say that Jack Harlow had one of the most disappointing albums of the year? Am I wrong to say that other people deserve that nomination over Jack Harlow? Am I wrong to say that Jack Harlow's music doesn't really have that much longevity or shelf life? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys. God bless.